Occasionally when I'm working on giant robots and things, I like to have a bit of music. And I'm a solar powered kind of guy, so I made this, which is a solar powered USB charger. I live in Vermont, and as you can see, it's a cloudy place. And as you can also see, despite the cloudiness, I'm getting some charge. To make one of these, you'll need three things. A 5 volt voltage regulator, that'll take uh, more than 5 volts, and when you run the power through it, it'll limit it to 5 volts and give you steady power that way. And 5 volts is what you need for your USB ports. And you also need some kind of solar panels that will give you at least 5 volts and at least around 100 milliamps of current. Now where do you get these items, you may ask? if you're not a super nerd like me and just have them lying around. Okay, the 5 volt voltage regulator and the USB ports I both got from Mouser Electronics. They have a website somewhere. Oh, it's just mouser.com. So on my little invoice here, it gives the uh, pertinent numbers to look one of these up. You would need a L78M05CV. That's your 5 volt voltage regulator. And those are 41 cents. Ooh, busted the bank on that one. Now your USB connector thingies are these right here. So I, I, I'm hoping you can just read that yourself. I'll, I'll try writing that on the uh, information on the side. And those are $1.34 each. Next you need to take care of the solar panel situation. These are the ones that I used, and they're 8 volts and 100 milliamps, and I used two of them in parallel to double the, the amperage. I'll tell you how to do that in a second. And you could also use ones like these. These are 3 volts each, but connecting them in series makes the whole thing 6 volts, which is over 5 volts, obviously, which is the minimum you need. For anyone who doesn't know, quick lesson in electronics. Solar panels will have two leads coming off of them. One will be a positive, generally the reddish one. One will be a negative, generally either black or white. Hopefully you can hook up a little tester and check if you don't trust the colors. Now to double, or to increase the uh, amperage, you connect two of these together by connecting a positive to another positive and they both join together to give you a single positive and then you connect the negative to the negative of another one and then that becomes your negative. Now to increase the voltage, if you want to add the voltage of these two together, take your, this is a positive lead on this one and take the negative end of it, connect it to the positive end of the next one and then you end up with your negative lead over here. I can't tell you for sure where to get these solar panels but uh, I always get them at these surplus places that have various selections at different times. If you go to Electronic Gold Mine, if you just search that, you should find their website pretty easily. Or All Electronics Corp, they would have these kind of things too. Next you'll need some tools. Basically a soldering iron, a bit of solder, mine's all wrapped up right now, maybe some glue. Here's the business side of the solar panel, and here's where all the stuff is on the back. So let me give you a good close-up of that. Hold on. To save you having to look up the schematics for these things and how to hook them up, I'll just show you in this picture here. This is the positive leads from the solar panels, and they connect to this leg on the voltage regulator, which as you can see is face down in this image. Don't put it the opposite way, because it'll mess you up. Um, now the negative leads of the solar panels connect to the middle leg and the middle leg also connects to the last USB connector lead over here. You don't end up using the two middle leads so just ignore those and then connect the last USB lead to the third leg over here. Got all that? Oh, and just so you can see how the USB thingy is. Ah, it doesn't show very well. Well, now you can plug in all your silly USB junk, and if you need more power, just put more solar panels.